Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer here, and uh, today we got something kind of special. It's a uh, my first vehicle review, uh, and I thought we'd start out with uh, this is the uh, Jedi uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Uh, it's probably one of the better uh, vehicles that you could pick up. It's uh, pretty nice looking. Uh, it fits the figures really well and really captures the look of the vehicle from the movie. They didn't do anything that's like too gimmicky. There are no like giant blasters or ejector seats or anything. So it's really nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and kind of take a look at uh, some of the stuff that he, it comes with. I unfortunately uh, don't have the box to look at. Uh, I bought this out of town and, and uh, couldn't bring it home, didn't have the space uh, with me. Uh, but I do have uh, this. It's the uh, sticker sheet and instruction manual uh, that came with it. Uh, you know, for anyone, this you know, this is a new channel, so uh, people don't know this. I hate stickers uh, for ships. You know, I think it's, it's cheap when companies don't just... Uh, paint it onto the, the, the ship itself or the figure. So I refuse to apply these. Um, and there are some problems with them. Uh, the colors don't match up all the way. So for anyone who does want to apply, apply all these, they, they will really stand out that there are stickers. Especially uh, these R2, these uh, R2 chest piece stickers. Um, they're kind of shaded and the plastic is just solid white, so they really stand out. And uh, a lot of these larger pieces do, like uh, the number of kills he's got. Yeah, those, that piece really stands out. Uh, but there's enough paint on the vehicle where you don't necessarily need to apply these. Uh, it looks good without them. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a, a, a size. It looks to be about 13 inches. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, that's there are uh, 2.54 centimeters in every inch. Um, for anyone who's not in the United States, uh, we'll start. I'll start going over the features too here. Uh, he's got an opening cockpit. Uh, leaves you a lot of room to get the figure inside, and the plastic is really clear, so you can really see the figure. It's got an R2 here, which is removable for some reason, and his head swivels all the way around. Uh, they painted the head but not the chest so it does look a little strange but it's not terrible. You can, you can, he fits in there fairly well. Uh, on the bottom here there are, there's some landing gear uh, that uh, folds up into the bottom there. It lays fairly flat so it's not a huge problem. And it does have firing missiles here and here and you fire them with the buttons on the back here. I'll go ahead and show you that. They fire fairly well, you know, for a kid's toy, I guess. Uh, and if you don't want to put them in, it just leaves a small hole right here, so it's not terrible. And uh, I saved this one for last because it's probably my favorite feature. Uh, you'll probably notice that these are flat against the uh, body of the ship, and in the movie they opened up, and they really captured this. I'll try and show you. Uh, there's a little button right here at the back, and when you when you push it down, the wings pop open, and it's a really cool feature. It does it on both sides at the same time, and you know they've even painted uh, down in here, which looks great. There's detail on the inside to these flaps. It's hard to see in there. There is some detail, and you'll you'll probably notice these little holes here. You'll probably wonder what those are for. Um, if you have the tri-droid from around the same time, uh, those had pegs on their feet so you can stick them on the ship. They have uh, two on each side. Uh, so, you know, that's really neat that they uh, added that feature. Uh, go ahead and close these down. You just close them down with your hands. Um, you know, I have uh, uh, Obi-Wan's version of the same of this ship here and as far as I know everyone that they've released is the same mold so you know it's it's really good uh, all of them should match uh, fairly well 
And uh, I picked this one up, you know, to have that, uh, recreate that first scene from the movie, you know, and it, I think it really does accomplish that, you know, everything about this. Like, uh, in the cockpit, you can see there that the chair and stuff is kind of like a pearlescent uh, goldish green color. You know, so this ship is just, it's, it's really great. And if you can pick it up for a good deal, uh, I would. I mean, it, it's just great for any collection. Um, so, please leave a comment down below about what you think about this uh, ship. And uh, I'll see you later.